So today is Wednesday, July 15th, and me and Hayden are giving another shot at Southeast Colorado. We're really hoping it goes better. Um, last time was kind of bad, but there's been rain down here recently, uh, and we're actually about to get a storm, which is kind of a bad thing. Um, there will be like a few hours where it just rains pretty hard for a little bit. Um, but then after, we're hoping to just hopefully find some stuff. Um, if to, we're not having too high of expectations for tonight, but uh, tomorrow morning could be pretty good. Uh, so we're just going to hope it goes better than last time. Continue to figure this place out a little bit. And uh, hopefully we'll have a somewhat successful night. And if not, then a pretty good morning tomorrow. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, so it's 5 o'clock. The storm will be here soon, but we'll have to try for a little bit. We just filled up on gas now that we got here. Um, about the th three and a half hour drive. And got the food we need for the night. Um, it's it's kind of nice out. Like, it feels pretty warm. Of course, it'll be cooler soon. But he said he saw a box turtle right back here. Um, so, we're going to check it out. We're not getting completely skunked yet. Oh, sweet. There's some pretty bright yellow on the side there. But I think we'll probably just leave them alone and we're gonna keep on looking. Just spotted this other boxer right in there. Um Dang, this guy's pretty big. We're we're about to come check this uh, little hole area for any snakes, but yeah, this is a pretty big one. Yeah. Doesn't seem too happy either. No. <laughs> yeah. Almost got away though. Good eye again. So he hasn't seen both of the things so far, but I think we'll just let this guy go and we're gonna keep on moving. Adios. Alright, so it is, oh my gosh, I didn't even see all those cows, look at them, okay, <laughs> well it is uh, 9.15 about, jeez, why did, they're scary dude, all those eyes, and we were driving, and we got this nice tiger salamander right here, there isn't gonna, really going to be any snakes out tonight, most likely, um, but it should be good for amphibians, it's done raining. Um, we were just at this wash, trying to flip a few rocks, but the river was just roaring. Um, but yeah, so this is my third adult tiger salamander ever, and easily the one with the brightest colors. I mean, you can see, that looks nice. But, uh, I'm gonna get, try to get a few pictures, and then we'll just move it off the road and keep on looking. Alright, so me and Hayden have been cruising this road for a while. Not a dirt road, because... A lot of it's muddy and it's kind of scary to drive at night and we almost drove into this the, the road was completely washed away and it was just like a little river going like right at the bottom of the hill but we were able to turn around <laughs> before we sunk down into that and we've been cruising just a uh, paved road and within a minute we caught all of these guys in here one to two minutes we, the reason we didn't release them where they were is there were several cars and so back up in that area after we showed them here so I guess this is the first one we saw just this giant beautifully colored tiger salamander super awesome so yeah since the rain the rain brought out all the amphibians really no hope of finding reptiles but we're honestly fine with that now because we're finding some awesome amphibians so big tiger salamander right here nice colors um, and then the next one we found is a big nice little Yeah, so a big one looks really nice. Um, yeah, wow. That nice bright yellow, like the tiger salamander, too. And then we found two more after that. I think we found the this wood houses toad next. Um, these are common guys. One of the most common ones, easily. Uh, he's bouncing really tight. Just gonna set.
down back in the bucket. Let's one more look at him. Ooh. And then we found a two more small, not very pretty, but two small couches spade foot. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna set them all back in there. Uh, we're gonna drive, we pulled off the side on this little road. We're gonna go back to the main road and uh, let them all go. And so yeah, successful night. We're happy if nothing else happens, but we're gonna keep cruising this road. Should be able to find some more amphibians but we are going to release these guys and keep on looking. All right, another frog up here, or toad, probably toad. Oh, another couch just spade foot right there. This one is pretty good looking too. All right, we will just move him off the road. On the other side. He was oh yeah, he was facing that way, that's true. And, adios amigo. Right, so Hayden saw one a little bit back there, and right as we stopped, there was this little couch's spade foot. Um, we'll just set him in there. Where's the one you saw? Uh, it was a little far back. We're about to call it, I think, just to get some sleep. Uh, oh, here it is. Nice. This is a good looking one. Wow. Try to get a few pictures of this guy. A solid black, dark green, yellow. Um, yeah, check him out. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna get a few pictures, but then we will release him. All right, so we just found this little red spotted toad. Um, just moved it off the road. Uh, I'm just gonna set it a little bit further back up here. Keep on moving back to camp. So we got two. One of them is a, another little couch of spade foot. Couch of spade foot. That one looks pretty nice for how small it is. Um, so he's gonna let that one go. And then there's another one right back here. This one's pretty big, it looks like. Oh, wow. wow. That is a huge one. Yeah. yeah. Wow, man, he is big. Bitch, yes. Man. Jeez. Giant. I might try just to get a picture of him real quick just because he's so big and then we will let it go. Alright, another little red spotted toad up here. He was hopping right at the car and just hop. Um, get him off the road. All right, so we found our life for uh, green toad here. So this is, I think, our fourth toad species. Um, we've got couch of spade foot, now this green toad, and then wood house and red spotted. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. We're just gonna let it go here. We saw another DOR tiger salamander and a freshly DOR uh, bull snake. So I guess there technically could be some snakes out. We're gonna leave that guy there. I thought I saw a tiger salamander just a second ago, but we went and looked back and it wasn't there. So maybe I'm just tripping, but we're going to keep on moving. So this guy was hopping, tried to hop right in front of, I got, I stopped the car right before we got to it. Um, but it was just hopping across the road. Oh man. I'm just going to release it over here. But yeah, they're everywhere. We're, we're kind of just skipping over a lot of them just because there's so many, but some of the ones that are definitely on the road. We just get them off. But there's another one. Yeah. I had just released that one and saw this one right here. Uh, so I'm just gonna pick him up. Another red spotted, it looks like. And just set him in there. Adios. Little wood houses toad. I think this is our third wood house. All right, so we we're about to pull up to the campsite. Um, successful night. Um, the storm and rain brought out all the amphibians, so we got four species um, and then we also got tiger salamander and some ornate box turtles earlier on in the day so we're happy with how it went um, all four legged creatures and tomorrow morning hopefully we can find some zero legged creatures um, I'm not sure how it'll go but 
Hopefully we can find some snakes tomorrow, but that should be it for tonight, and hopefully we'll be back in the morning with the snake. So it is 7 in the morning. I just did a little bit of flipping, but uh, no luck. But it's actually better conditions this morning than it was going to be. The sun is actually out. It's going to be warming up a little bit. We get, we'll be in the low 70s for a little bit. We got a few hours. We're just going to probably just try to cruise. Um, maybe do a little bit more flipping if we see stuff. And hopefully we can find some snakes. All right, so we've seen quite a few uh, animals dead on the road. But we were just flipping this board right over there next to the railroad track. And I see this little thing hopping. And it's this tiny frog. Let's see if I can get him in my hand again so we can see. Him. It looks like a red spotted. Look how small that thing is. But yeah, it's gonna set down, keep on moving. We seen one snake that was, but it was hit, and that looks like it was probably this morning. So I think it's pretty good temperatures, and we should be able to find something, so we're just gonna keep on moving. Okay, so it's uh, almost 12 o'clock. Um, we're, he we're heading home. This morning did not go well at all. I thought we would find some snakes, but we saw a few dead ones and that was it. Um, the only thing we saw this morning was that tiny toad. Um, so yeah, this morning kind of sucked, but last night was really fun. Um, I mean, we're going to try to come down here soon. Eventually, probably at least one or two more times this summer. I want to come down as much as possible, but I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.